had an awful lot of people talking today around here. Remember a few years back when John Bon Jovi was public enemy number one here in Western New York? Well, that was back when his hat was in the ring to buy the bills and everyone thought that he would move them to Toronto. Well, he talked about that this morning on Shock Jock Howard Stern's radio show. He said something we reported a few months back is true that fellow potential buyer Donald Trump spread the rumor that Bon Jovi's group planned to move the team to Toronto. Bon Jovi says, believe him or not, he would have kept the team right here. It's genius what he did because he was taking out uh, a, a serious candidate to buy the team and then hope that he would get it at a, at a bargain price. But we were as real as real got. And, you know, I'm brokenhearted because I would have loved it and what we would have done in Western New York. And, you know, people don't realize that I was really going to, you know, get a house there. I was going to move there. I was really seriously. And I know that's true life. because you, I asked you privately at the time. I oh, said, yeah. I said, John, what's going on with this? Why do you want to own a team? Blah, blah, blah. You, you told me. And he said, listen, I'm all in. I'm moving to Buffalo. Yeah. You don't I, buy I, I don't it? buy it. Not for, not for a second. I don't buy it. No, nope. no, I do. Come on. He's coming from Jersey. No, I don't buy it. I just don't buy it. I think he'd be all in. I think he was really, you know, genuine in his desire to own a team. And, you know, he couldn't move it to New York. They've already got two franchises. The good there. thing is the Pagoulas bought it and we're happily ever after. You're right. The story ends well.